they have these pom-pom tassels so you have like a blue then there's pink i think those are the only colors i see yeah blue and pink puzzle eraser Unicorn uh, Poop Lip Balm. The Pulse Erasers are cute. The Fortune Pen. The Fortunes are gonna be Slide on a Rainbow. Fart Glitter. Eat a Sparkle Sunday. Believe in Magic. Grant Wishes. Or Play with Fairies. And then this one down here, this one says, ride for treasure, dance with dolphin, take a selfie, wish upon starfish, ride a seahorse, and make wishes. That's that pen. And then look at these keychain wallets. these barrettes. These barrettes are pretty. And these are a 12 pack of straws. These straws have a cat and hearts on them. And these are very cute. These have sloths and unicorns. Those are the only two I see here. I may have missed a whole lot more. This rack is empty now. For little kids, or oh, for grown adults. Let me not say just little kids. Look at these. These are really cute. I'm just seeing those. Oh, one more down here. Look at the pug. If you fancy white chocolate, here go the Reese's um, little snack size, five count peanut butter cups. The Twix six count white um, Twix, and then the Kit Kat. This is a five pack of their snack size. Who has tried these? I have not. I see this uh, most times when I come in the Dollar Tree, and I've been hesitant to try them. This is the Sheila G's Brownie B Brittle with the Meyer Lemon flavor. Sorry guys, I'm trying to keep my mask over my face, just pull it down when I need to talk a little. But yeah, who has tried the Maya lemon flavor? I am so hesitant to try that. Now the Sheila G's brownie brittle is excellent. Here goes the salted caramel. These are very tiny bags, just two ounce bags. But I've been really wondering who's tried this blondie flavor in Meyer lemon. Best by October 11th, 2020. Please let me know if the Maya lemon is good. These are new to me. And this is a four ounce bag of on the border cafe style tortilla chips. Gluten free, no preservatives, no artificial. And it says enjoy by August 19th, 2020. I have never eaten it on the border. If those are good, let me know guys. Cause when you compare those to the other sizes that you can pick up of the tortilla chips, that's a smaller bag. Well, look what I found down here. And I was just telling the boys yesterday, I wish the Dollar Tree had more of these. Now these are not chips. I hope they know that. But actually, y'all been telling me, crunch them up like uh, tortilla chips and eat them that way too. But these are the Mazada corn tostadas. They were so good. I'm gonna grab another pack. And over there in the freezer section, they had Cool Whip Original. 
and this comes and goes at the Dollar Tree, but I am very glad when they get it in. I always grab a Cool Whip. We keep this in our freezer. And this says, when frozen, used by August 27th, 2021. And here goes my favorite flavor of the Munch Rice Cheddar and Sour Cream um, flavored baked puffs. My boys love the apple cinnamon, but this one here, this is my favorite flavor. And y'all already know how I feel about those barbecue if you saw my review. The Dip and Grab and Go Classic Hummus Baked Pita Chips are back at the Dollar Tree. This is just a small pack of hummus and some chips. It's very tiny. I don't know if you can see how small it is. It's just 2.1 ounces. I wanted to see the date on it for you. It says May 25th, 20, no, excuse me, September 25th, 2020. Yeah, sorry about that. September 25th, 2020. Tree keeps bringing back these Toy Story 4 and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 10 pack fruit flavor snacks. They seem to be keeping those around. And these aren't really selling here. I'm here in Hanover, Maryland. These Goldfish Epic Crunch Nacho. I know my kids didn't like the flavored Goldfish, so I didn't buy those big packs when they came out in the different flavors. Mmm. They have Lay's Stacks Bacon and Cheddar Potato Skins, as well as the Mesquite Barbecue. Oh, I think I'm gonna grab these, see if the boys like these. This big box of saltine crackers. This is like the one you buy out of the grocery store. It's four packs in here. It's True Blue Saltine Crackers. They say best by April 2021. Not a bad buy for saltine crackers. The Pompa breadsticks and garlic and sesame. I haven't tried either. And then the Breton original crackers. Those are good crackers. This is just a smaller box than you uh, buy out of the grocery store. And I've actually heard these are good. I've never tried them myself. Tell me if you have the Monet vegetable as well as the Bonet Original Entertainer Crackers. Very similar to what I would consider they're very similar to the Breton. Maryland Dollar Tree has potting soil. This has been very rare for me to find. This is what I was uh, popping into Dollar Tree for, for potting soil. And they've got the eight pound bag of Gardenscape. All purpose potting soil. Better come grab a bag. So I want to start some seeds and literally like fruit seeds or some herbs. I can't ever find herbs. I waited too late. Look, this is always what they look like when I come to the Dollar Tree, the seed section. So, but I was trying to decide between the seed starter greenhouse, which you get the little dome to cover them up, or these biodegradable pots, they're seed starter pots. I thought these would be better because I'm assuming you can take these and then put it right in the soil and it'll break down in the soil once your seed has started and sprouted. Which would you use? Oh my goodness, look at these planters, they're so cute. So hello, my name is Uma. This is an animal planter. What is that supposed to be, y'all? Unicorn? That's a unicorn. <laughs> then here goes, hello, my name is Hudson. That's a hedgehog. Hello, my name is Tilly. The turtle and hello my name is flora the fox but they are so cute they are animal planters all of them they are so cute oh my goodness i already bought pots but i'm seeing all the ideals you all will come up with with these succulents they are adorable look what the dollar tree has floral garden moss sheets one count 6.5 inch by 8.75 inch then they have all these different wooden garlands and the different sizes let me see what's stuck in between there some of that adhesive diamond wrap they just have it over here in just in pink and blue but i thought that was really neat this right here the moss sheet hadn't seen that before I know the crafters are loving those moss sheets. These are smartwatch cases that come in different sizes. It says fits Apple Watch. This is a 42 milliliter, millimeter, excuse me, a 38 millimeter. 
44 millimeter as well as a 40 millimeter. I don't have an Apple Watch or a smartwatch, so I'm not so sure about these and, you know, the cases, etc. But I thought it was good. I know I also have seen smartwatch screen guards here at the Dollar Tree. Uh -huh. I saw a lot of people hauling these GE light bulbs, but had not seen them actually in the Dollar Tree. So here goes some in mine. This is the GE soft white. 50 watt, 100 watt, 150 watt. So was that like three, oh, three way. You can click it three ways on. Soft pleasing light. And then this is the soft white vibration resistant 60 watt. And this is one bulb at the bottom, but there's two bulbs in here. So two bulbs in that package, one bulb in that. And it looks like they did have this GE energy efficient halogen two plus year life indoor outdoor narrow spotlight it's that really big bulb you can look in there and see so they must have had some of these we have a couple more name brand these ge crystal clear six bulb value pack 60 watt that's pretty good for a dollar six bulbs in one for like a chandelier And then the Sylvania ceiling fan light bulbs, 60 watt. These are cute tote bag patterns. The butterflies, I like the pink and the purple. And then you have this red pattern, like a honeycomb. This is nice, the blue. Oh, this is lovely, the purple. It's that nautical theme bag on the side it's pink Dollar Tree has some tags for your luggage in a cactus saying Bon Voyage this pineapple is cute and then also a watermelon Hey y'all, sorry I don't do the Dollar Tree candles anymore. I used to love me a mason jar candle by Old Williamsburg. Let me see if I can find one. Yeah, like these berry crumble mason jar ones. These were my favorite. Then I even bought one, bought two, that had no smell to them. So I just stay away from the Dollar Tree candles, period, altogether. Some Crafter Square stickers. This is their Puffy. We've seen these before, the craft cupcake. I've seen them before, maybe you haven't. Some pop-up stickers. That's an eight piece. These are pretty, that's an 11 piece. Pop-up. And then here go the sunflowers in the back. Pop up. Oh, how cute. The pickup trucks. 12 piece. Pop up. Got that pug's face. Some more pop-up, 12 piece. I wanted to share with you some of the books I'm not going to be bringing home. This is the Picador Cookster Classics. Samin Rushdie's Indian Cookery, forward by Salman Rushdie. Um, and it actually has a lot of recipes and I guess Indian dishes in here. Lamb Korma lamb and beef kebabs, Sikh kebabs, all different type of recipes in here. So I just thought this was very interesting. Poultry and game dishes. 
This is a book titled Dress Your Gingerbread, Bake Them, Dress Them, Eat Them by Joanna Farrell. This was originally $14.99. Let's see how much this one was originally. This originally was a $16 cooking book. Um, but this gingerbread book it says, munch on a monster, take tea with a bumblebee, nibble on an astronaut. Look, you can make a nurse gingerbread. Very cute. Just all the different gingerbread cookies you can make. This is titled The Happiness Diet, Good Mood Food. It's by Rachel Kelly. She previously published The Happy Kitchen. Turn to the back. Originally a 1999 book. So it is a cookbook as well. Has some pictures in there. Oh, that was some. Looked like butternut squash. Then here is the cooking, cook fresh cookbook. 150 recipes for cooking and eating fresh year round. Mmm, that frittata look good. Let's see. Editors of Fine Cooking. I was trying to see a price on this one. I don't in particular see a price. That mint sorbet looks good. Let's see. No, I don't see a price on this one. Here's the Ultimate Gardener. It says the best experts advice for cultivating a magnificent garden with photos and stories by Charlie Nardozzi. And this is a $14.95 originally. I looked through it, but I think this is more for like outdoor gardening. I would love to find a book like this about houseplants. This is a wonderfully nice, thick cookbook it's titled Near and Far. That's what the back looks like. It feels so good. This book, literally this design is imprinted on the front. You can feel that. Oh, dang. The price might be covered up on this one, but you can only imagine this is a, look at the pages. The pages are nice and ivory, beautiful pictures. But it says near and far recipes inspired by home and travel, Heidi Swanson. I'm not sure if I want this book or not. I looked through it and it had some really great recipes. So the Sweet Potato Diet um, by Michael Morelli, the Super Carb Cycling, lose up to 12 pounds in two weeks. Um, look, 36.50 Canadian, so you know for American, that has to be maybe 20 something. I'm not sure. But not only does he have different recipes in here, sweet potato tots. In the back there, I saw some exercising. Yeah. So, you know, also talking about working out. And I love sweet potatoes, and I try to incorporate whether it's like a baked potato or sweet potato in our diet all the time. So, this seemed like an interesting book. And then this one is titled Buttonwood Farm, 19 New Primitive Projects by Maggie Bonanomi. And on the back it says Kansas City Star Quilts. Let me show you some, oh, look at that, patterns for you to even cut out all the way in the back. Interesting. I couldn't find a price on that one either. Let's see. Yeah, I couldn't find a price on that, but look at that book. I may have to slow down and look. And then last but not least, Stitch It for All Seasonal Sewing Projects to Craft and Quilt. This was US $12.99. You go some other titles, you might get lucky and find in a Dollar Tree. Um, but that's by Lynette Anderson. Oh, Miss Hen Basket. So different projects in there. Sunflower Purse. Oh, that's cute. A Mother Hen Tea Cozy. That's really cute. 
There goes some of the Dollar Tree books. So watch my haul to see what I actually bring home. I've got eight head wraps by Remington. Looks like they're all colorful. This is also by Remington. This is a twisted head wrap in this pattern, which is pretty. Remington has these barrettes. So you get two of them. And this is by Scunchy. Some eye candy. 12 piece, like rubber bands to go around your hair. Some eye candy headbands. Oh, that's just one headband for eye candy. And scunchy elastics for black hair. And ponytail holders. Let's check out the Sassy and Chic Fashion Nails. These are some cute little pineapples. That's pretty. Mm, very elaborate. This is your French manicure. Looks like it comes in pink or clear. I got see these wet and wild lip balms. These are different. Now this is clear, transparent. This color is shock. This color is love. And this color says play. Cow and kiss. And they've got wet and wild. It says first gel lip liners. This color is pink electro. This one is Don't Be a Prune. This is I Got the Juice. And this one is called Never Pedal Down. They've got these cute tote bags. They're burlap style, I guess you can consider that burlap. This says Pugs and Kisses. Do small things with great love. You're a peach and good vibes only. Those are cute. And then look at these messenger bags. I not even really get to some of these crafts because they have this here. But I grabbed the glitter from over there because I wanted some glitter when we make our lava lamp. And this says six bags by Crafted Square. But... Unless I'm counting wrong, one, two, three. And these are just three individual bags. But they do say six bags. So, and all of these are like this. Let me show you this, six, six bags, one, two, three. So I just, I wanted to make sure I wasn't tripping. Did anybody else notice that? Or am I tripping? <laughs> The, the, were some removed? I don't know. Six bags, but only three. All right. Okay, so I think some of them are just faulty because I see this bag with four. So some must have come off of here. But all the ones they have like this say six, but they are only three or four on there. 